Hello, my name is Chandler Pai, and a joint PhD student between CSIRA and Queensland University of Technology. This is our recent work on LiDAR-based dense 3D slab. As its title says, we try to combine maps and trigger approach to continuous time slab. I'll briefly introduce what is continuous time slab first. The main difference between the conventional discrete time slab and the continuous time slam is that the continuous time slam utilizes an optimized continuous time trajectory, which is a function of time. The main two advantages in this approach is that a measurement wise post reconstruction is possible, which is extremely useful for handling motion distortion problem. And multiple sensor fusion is very easy in this framework. However, there is a significant problem in this approach. To maintain a globally consistent map, it needs to collect all the data and run a global optimization at the end. Furthermore, without a post-processing, it will be full of spatially redundant map elements. So, without doing nothing, the map size and global optimization codes increases over time. Our solution to this problem is simple. First, take points cloud and IMU measurement as input and generate local map by window continuous time trajectory optimization. Then the local maps are fused into global map. To reduce the spatial redundancy and take an advantage of multiple of spatial observations, we have utilized probabilistic subtle fusion. Then, right up in the loop closure detection, we close the loop by deforming the map itself instead of carrying out the global trajectory optimization. As a result of removing the global trajectory optimization, the system does not need an offline processing at all. Here are some experimental results. First, we compare the loop closure codes of a multiple traverse scenario. The proposed method is way faster than the conventional global trajectory optimization method, as, as the loop closure cost does not increase over time, but only depends on the size of the space. Also, we compare the trajectory with a large size multiple map to show that the deformed trajectory is not that different from the globally optimized trajectory. As seen in the figure, they look almost the same. Lastly, we compare the map surface estimation performance. The experiment shows that the resulting map is able to represent the map with the minimum amount of points and it is less noisy up to three times. If you have any question on this work, please feel free to come to our booth and have a discussion. Thank you.